We won. <laughs> You know, no, we didn't win. You know when we'll win? When we get this all reversed, which is what's going to happen. So what happened today was that Letitia had to eat every single tweet she has posted since the day the twisted order from Judge and Gorin came out with the ridiculous number, with the disgusting injustice on the American people, not just Donald Trump. And I would love to see what she tweeted today because she was having fun posting the interest on a man who has done nothing wrong and a family who has done nothing wrong every single day day. And then the appellate division came in and said, sorry, due process still exists in America. You still get a right to keep your assets until we get to review what all these lawyers are saying was wrong. 11 weeks. I have never seen something, Jesse, like I saw in that courtroom. It was a travesty on the justice system. And I am so proud of the appellate division for giving us the opportunity. They didn't reverse the case, but they will when they see what we saw, it was a disgrace. And today, there was a little bit of faith in the American system uh, that that I've lost over the past few years. I'll be honest with you. Do you think Tish James and Judge Ergeron do they do they feel ashamed, a little embarrassed? Uh, do, have they felt? I don't know. Maybe did they overreached a little bit after this decision. Well, that would mean that they have a moral compass or a conscience, and I don't feel that that exists. People that go on TV, censor Donald Trump, shut him off when he's speaking, want to act like he's about to go broke, want to act like he's poor, and that's why he couldn't get a, a bond that no private company has ever been asked to get with no cash equivalents other than cash, marketable securities. People that get excited for that, they don't have a conscience. But, you know, I hope she took a little piece of humble pie today because that's what was served to her. Just a little, but we'll be we'll be serving a lot more of that in the next couple of years. And uh, she'll be eating humble pie. You'll be having birthday cake. We hear it's your birthday, so happy birthday. Thank you. All right. Behave yourself. Observers took a bite out of Trump lawyer Elena Habba's humble pie snipe at Letitia James. Habba was a guest on Jesse Waters' Fox News show and celebrated after an appellate court reduced Donald Trump's bond from the $464 million he owes for committing business fraud to $175 million. James, the New York Attorney General, would have been able to begin seizing his properties after the original Monday deadline, but the court's rulings allowed the former president 10 days to come up with a lesser amount. Habba told Waters that Judge Arthur Ingeron, who oversaw the civil fraud trial, and James had no moral compass or conscience. She sniped further at James, I hope she took a little piece of humble pie today because that's what was served to her. Just a little, but we'll be serving a lot more of that in the next couple of years. Critics on X clapped back, reminding the attorney and spokesperson that her boss still owes the larger amount. $1.175 million bond is the new humble pie, one cracked.